Are you guys having a great day? How many of you are ready for an adrenaline boost of energy coming up? I sat in the back of the room and I've been impressed with every trainer that's come up here. Did you guys get value learning about how to take your relationships to the next level? Okay, awesome. Um, it's amazing. And I thought, my gosh, my normal speaking or training is a little bit at a higher level of octane. And I thought I might blow you guys out of the water a little bit. So I wanted to just ask a question. How many of you would like me to tone it way down and, and be a little bit that? Or how many of you would like me to amp it up and, and give you a little bit of jet fuel to end the day? Is that? Okay. I don't want to blow you out of the water, but I'm pretty excited. How many of you um, believe that relationships and your ability to master relationships is actually the key to your success in business? Okay, so today I'm going to share with you a very powerful secret, and I'm going to teach you how to crack the code to doing business with every single relationship from this point forward and put the dollars in your pocket. Is there anyone in here that's allergic to making money? <laughs> Just making sure. Money makes you more of who you are, and if you're the type of person that's a good steward of money, would you agree that you deserve to have a lot of it because you'll bless a lot of people with it? Yeah. I believe that too. And so I want to share with you some of the top secrets that have transformed my whole life, and just for those of you that have never met me before, I'll share with you. As I caught the entrepreneur bug and I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and I thought, I want to be an entrepreneur and I want to live the American dream. My first year, I, I walked away from corporate America to chase my dream, and my first year I made $700. <laughs> so I don't know if some of you beat my record out there, but of course I was not the success um, or the epitome of success, and I needed to figure out real quick how to make this business or building my own business work for me. Can any of you relate to that? You're trying to figure this out? Okay, so I want to share with you the breakthrough that I finally figured out and it was a missing link and I can tell you out of all the sales trainers or the personal mentors that I've had in my lifetime not one single one of them could put their finger on exactly what was missing something was broken and I couldn't figure out if it was me that was broken or the system that was broken but I figured out it had to do with the system and today I want to give you a real nuts and bolts system with a major aha shift and then for those of you that say, hey, this is everything I've been looking for, Chris mentioned I'm doing a training next month. It's actually next weekend. Next weekend, I'm doing a private training just for Strongbrook. For those of you that choose to clear out some of your schedule, Saturday from 9 to 1, I'm going to be teaching you exactly what to do to crack the code to making a lot more money. Is that a deal? Okay. So this is, uh, I'm going to jump into it. What the whole presentation is designed to help you increase your sales velocity, and specifically I want to teach you in relationship mastery, how do you do these four things? Number one, get more prospects, the right target market. Number two, create larger deals. How many of you want your customers to buy more stuff as long as it's in their best interest? Right, that's called moving volume through it. Number three is how do you convert more leads so that a lead becomes a customer and not just a phone number? And number four, how do you close sales faster? How many of you would like to speed up the velocity of your own business, right? So that's exactly what I'm gonna be sharing with you today. Now, Chris gave me a nice introduction. The company that I run is called V2 Velocity. I'll explain what V2 means in just a minute. I'm an author of the program Bank, and we have clients in more than 30 different countries because the system actually works for increasing your sales velocity. I'm a multiple seven-figure income earner, and the only reason that's relevant is because I heard a great quote from Robert Kiyosaki once when he said, stop taking advice from people more messed up than you. <laughs> Would you guys agree that's kind of a good quote, right? And um, I've won awards as a result of this program working for so many people, and so I'm excited to share it with you. And I want to thank the Strongbrook community for the invitation to become a mentor inside the network. Now, I want to start off asking a question. How many of you believe it's possible for one idea to change the world? Well, I want to challenge you that it, could it be possible that this idea changed your world? And I want to spend the next 45 minutes or so going through how this is possible. And maybe you're in a room where there's some empty seats. But maybe you are here for a very specific reason. It's about being at the right place at the what? Right at the right time. And today could be that time for you, and I'm so excited to share with you. So let's get into it. 
Bank has been called a, a game changer. Now, it is personality-based, meaning that the principles of what I'm about to teach you are rooted deep into the four personality types. And I'm going to share with you a twist that you may have never considered before. It's people-focused, because at the end of the day, you're in business with whom? People. And it's profit-driven, because we believe there's no shame in making fair money, right? And so that's the concept behind bank. And this is designed to increase your sales velocity. Now, that might be a new term for you, and I want to explain what velocity is using this picture of an airplane. My dad was a pilot. And how many of you have taken flight before? Okay, so you all can go to that moment where you're sitting in the plane, you're preparing for takeoff, you're on the one ray at a zero, and all of a sudden the plane goes into momentum, and it's picking up velocity as it's picking up speed. Well, there's a speed on the dial called V2, and V2 is the is the speed that an airplane has to hit in order to take flight safely. So there has to be enough velocity to hit velocity speed two to get that plane up and off the runway. If it fails to hit V2, can it take off? No. And what happens is it'll either crash off the end of the runway or it'll have to circle back and try it again. How many of you have ever felt in your life that you're stuck in V1 and no matter what you're doing, you're just running laps around the airport and you're not getting the dang thing up. Can anyone relate to that? Okay. So that's where I was as an entrepreneur. And this is why I'm so passionate about sharing this gift with everybody. Because as soon as I figured out how to hit V2 in my own personal income, the rest changed my entire life. And I became addicted and passionate to sharing it with others. Now, most people fail to hit V2 in their uh, financial life. Would you agree with that? So I was a financial advisor, and I got to see some horrifying statistics. And what Gerald said earlier with the mask on, there's a lot of people who live behind a mask and say, hey, all is well in Zion. All is well financially, yet their whole life is crumbling and falling apart. And so we can see here, according to the, uh, the statistics in our own country, 90% of businesses are failing. They don't hit V2. 95% um, of Americans never achieve financial independence. And according to the government, that's living on a little over $3,000 a month. 95% don't make it. 98% of the network marketing industry, which is an amazing industry, 96 million people in that industry, yet 98% of them make less than $500 a year. The good news is in Strongbrook, it's a lot higher than that, which is awesome. And the average American family can avoid bankruptcy with just an extra $500 a month in cash flow. So we became passionate about how do we help the person, the average family, hit V2 in their own financial velocity. And for all of you that have the courage to be in business and to partner and align with Strongbrook because you believe, how many of you believe that Strongbrook Mentoring Network has value to bring to an entrepreneur or a family? Okay. And how many of you are, are fairly passionate and your passion is growing on sharing this with other people? Okay, right? And it can be profitable to do that, right? So this is what I want to share with you. I learned this amazing statistic that I want to share with you. There's only four factors that impact how much you sell. And I want to share with you what those four factors are, and then I'm going to give you a solution on how to change everything today. And those four factors can be summarized in something that's called the sales velocity equation. Now, the sales velocity equation is basically saying all you should ever pay attention to are these four factors. If you want to be a successful entrepreneur, you want to pay your bills with this income, massive and passive income, you've got to pay attention to these four factors. The first is the number of leads that you generate. That number sign represents the number of leads the number of opportunities that you're currently farming. Then you multiply that by the dollar sign. The dollar sign represents the average deal value. What are you closing people as you get them into Strongbrook? The freemium, the 99, the 499, for example, what's your average deal value? You multiply that by your win rate. What's another word for win rate? Your close rate. So every time you get up to bat, how many out of 10 are you closing? And then you divide that by L, which represents the length of the sales cycle. In other words, how long does it take for you to close a sale? From the moment you generate a lead to the moment you close the sale, how much time elapsed? A day, a week, a month, a year? How long do you feel like you're chasing people to get a yes instead of a no? So this whole equation determines velocity, and that's what the V is in the front of the equation. You want to accelerate velocity, you need to accelerate these four numbers. I want to share with you 
with the power of 10%. Now, we live in a community right here in Provo where 10% is a significant number. Would you agree? <laughs> I graduated from the Y. So 10% is a key number, and I want to show you what the power of 10% can do in the sales velocity equation. Let's say that you're currently generating right now 10 leads a month for your strong brick business, and you increased it by 10%, you would take 10 to what? 11. How many of you believe that's possible? The right training. And what if your average deal value is $100 and you increase it by 10%, it would now be what? $110. And what if your average close rate was 20%, so you close 20% out of 100, or in other words, one out of five people? 20%, if you increase that by 10%, 20% would become what? 22%. And then let's say that the average sales cycle, the length for someone to say, hey, here's Strongbrook, and okay, I'm ready to sign up and join your business. Let's pretend 10 days is the average sales cycle. If you shorten that by 10%, 10 days would become what? Nine. Nine days. How many of you believe with the right training and tools and technology and systems that you could have a 10% impact with your skill set? 10%, right? So we're not asking for a miracle, we're just asking for a margin. That 10% impact, when you factor it into this equation, actually accelerates your sales velocity by 47%. How many of you would love to experience this year and in the coming year a 47% increase in your own sales velocity with your business with Strongbrook? Okay? And that can literally turn into hundreds of thousands or for some of you millions of dollars. Now, here's the challenge, is that most people fail to hit any form of velocity in their business, and that's why they're stuck in that V1 speed, and they just can't get their airplane off the ground. No matter how hard they work, no matter how many phone calls they do, no matter how many trainings they attend, they're stuck in V1, and your bank account proves it. That's the mask that we're hiding behind. But see, here's what I realized when I asked myself the question, gosh, am I broken or is the system broken? What I discovered is it actually wasn't me, it was the system. And what I found out is that the system has been brainwashing us into one of the greatest lies ever told. What they've told us to believe is that sales is a numbers game. How many of you have ever heard that? And they've told us in order to get more yeses, you have to get more what? No. More no's. And everybody knew the same exact answer. Yet that is the definition of insanity. Who wants to get more no's? Nobody. <laughs> In order to get more yeses, you have to get more yeses. Would you agree with that? <laughs> that just makes sense, okay? So I'm going to put some logic into the stuff that we've been missing this entire time. It's not a, uh, a numbers game, and I'm going to prove it. According to WAMA, they said the best salesperson outsells the average salesperson 57 to 1. I don't know about you, but I've definitely felt like I was stuck on the wrong side of this equation, watching people make a lot more money than me. And I sat there and said, what's the difference between them and me besides the size of their paycheck? And I started to uh, try to figure it out. Let me ask a question. Do you really think that the best salesperson works 57 times more hours than you? No. Do you really think that the best salesperson generates 57 times more leads than you? Do you really think that the best salesperson has 57 times more appointments than you? Do you really think that the best salesperson has 57 times more no's than you? No. So what we just proved is sales is not a numbers game. What sales is, is it's a velocity game. Velocity is what makes the difference between zero to hero. And what I figured out was the exact science of how to put the velocity in your game. And that velocity can turn a lot more of your appointments into yeses instead of noes. How many of you are ready for more yeses? Say yes. yes. All right. Okay. You need to pull them in. So here's a few things I want to share with you. Today is focused on relationships. Brian Tracy said, all business is a what? People business. Is that a relationship? Yep. It absolutely is, right? Uh, Tony Robbins goes on to say, let your prospect determine your presentation. What does that really mean? Okay, Let's jump in a little bit deeper here. I'm going to take you a level deeper now. If we're supposed to let our prospect determine our presentation and all business is a people business, the question is, are all people the same? Nope. No, not even close. So I started to do a little bit of research and I started finding out about this personality type theory. And it actually dates back two and a half thousand years to Hippocrates, the father of medicine, who came up with the theory and made it famous called the theory of the four temperaments. 
And what he basically proves scientifically is that the human race can be categorized into four different groups of people. And he actually was able to diagnose his medical patients differently based on which temperament you were. And it was proven in history to the point where thousands of years later, fast forward to today, and some of the world's leading training institutions have come up with their own version of a personality type assessment to basically figure out which one you are. So by show of hands, how many of you have taken one of those assessments? Keep your hand up for fun and look around the room. It's usually close to 100%. Why? Because we humans are fascinated with the study of whom? Ourselves. Ourselves. We want to know more about us. And I remember the first time I started to take these personality assessments, I'm like, wow, this is cool, a report that tells me all about me. This is amazing. But my fascination quickly turned into frustration when I realized that not one single one of those assessments ever made me more money. Not one of those assessments ever made me a better salesperson. Not one of them ever impacted my bottom line. And that's when I was really frustrated because I was $30,000 in credit card debt I was paycheck to paycheck. I was renting an apartment up in Salt Lake City, and I could not qualify for my own first home because according to the loan experts, my income was too unstable. So I don't know if any of you have ever been there and felt frustrated, like you're supposed to be all in with the heart of an entrepreneur, but your paychecks are not matching your commitment. Have you ever felt that before? Okay. And so that's where I was challenged, and I thought, gosh, you know what, who cares about what personality type I am? I've never been on an appointment where I sit down with a customer and they say, hey Sherry, before we get started, what's your personality type? <laughs> Have you guys ever had someone do that to you? No, the customer doesn't care. But should you care what the personality type of your customer is? Yes, yes. and here's why. Because what I figured out and, and coined it as the missing link is that if it's proven scientifically that people are different and there's four different types of people, my thought process was, I wonder if they make their buying decisions differently. What do you think? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. We're completely programmed differently. The way we see life, the way we think about life, the way we act in life, totally different. We're hardwired like a Mac versus a PC. Very different. So the buying behavior is completely different. Now, maybe this makes sense. And what happened is I started looking in the marketplace for a program that could teach me how do I alter the sales process based on who I'm talking to. And of course, none existed. I began creating this in 1998. I was 25 years old. Now, I ended up coining it bank, B-A-N-K. And that was my interpretation of the four personality types based on their buying behavior. See, I didn't care about their psychology. I cared about their buying behavior. So the B is the blueprint, the A is the action, the N is the nurturing, and the K is the knowledge. And what I was able to figure out is the exact formula that moves each one to a yes instead of a no. How many of you would like to learn that formula? Oh, yeah. Okay, so before V1, this shows you uh, in my V1 speed when I was the airplane, remember I share with you my first year in sales as an entrepreneur, a business owner. I made $700, that's a real number. And over a five-year period, taking every course I could, buying books, listening to audio programs, doing everything they said to do, I got my income up to 72000 Some called me successful. I still felt like a financial failure. 30 grand in credit card debt, couldn't qualify for a home even at seventy-two grand a year. Once I discovered the missing link and implemented the bank system into my own personal life, my income took a massive jump. The very next 12 months, my income jumped over $500,000, a 695% jump. And within a three-year period, my income was now over a million. By 33 years old, I was cash flowing a million dollars a year. How many of you would love that jump this year? Oh, yeah. Right? Okay. So that's what I'm talking about. This is the difference between V1 and V2. That's the mathematical illustration of what it feels like when velocity kicks in in your business. Okay, now Carolyn and Gary, you guys, and Jane, right, under the new branding, I'm getting used to it too, you guys have felt V2 kick in in your own business, would you agree with that? Okay, so is it pretty exciting when that happens? Oh yeah. Yeah, I was interviewing them out there and some of their best months were over 80,000. If you put that in a 12 month cycle, that's over a million dollars a year, that's pretty amazing, right? It's huge, it's life changing. And that's why they're passionate about teaching it to other people, okay? So Einstein gave a quote that said, any fool can complicate things, but it takes a genius to simplify it. Well, 
I'm not saying I'm a genius, but what they're saying is that the bank program is genius because we simplified the sales process because we simplified the relationship and communication process. And all of a sudden, big universities wanted to know more. UC Berkeley actually conducting a study right now with some of their graduate students and professors from San Francisco State University proving that, in fact, the bank methodology increases sales. Harvard University brought me out there and invited me to speak at one of their major keynote events to share what I had discovered because, again, personality type theory was two and a half thousand years old. What could I possibly bring to the world? All I did was I reverse engineered it. It's like putting up a mirror. Instead of it about me, it's about you. And that's all the customer ever cared about, right? So from that, the, the story started to go viral. If you have something that's really good, can you keep it contained in a secret for very long, or do people start to leak it out? Mm -hmm. They leak it out. It's the same reason why you're in 14 countries today as Strongbrook, and by the end of the year, projected to be in 156 countries. How many of you are excited about that in Strongbrook? Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Why? Because you keep talking about it and it goes viral because of this exact concept. And I started getting to share the stages with people whose work I studied, right? Like Les Brown, who's part of the network, Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, billionaires that I never thought I'd meet in my lifetime, all simply because of a four-letter word called bank. So the question is, if bank did this for me, what can bank do for you? What can bank do for your strong brick business? What can bank do for your communication skill set with your spouse, with your children, with your customer, with your team, right? I'm going to teach you how to unlock the secret to having the most revolutionary relationships you've ever had in your lifetime, personal or professional. How many of you would like to go there in this lifetime with that skill set, right? It's a pretty amazing skill set. How we do it is through a science called cracking the personality code so you can take it to the bank. I want to explain that analogy using this little device on the screen called the cryptex. And the cryptex is a combination of two words, cryptology, which is the science of locking up secret information, and codex, which is the written script or scroll that's locked inside the device. Now, it was made famous in the movie The Da Vinci Code. How many of you saw that movie? Great movie. What was locked inside this little device right here was a little tiny rolled up piece of paper on a papyrus scroll. And what it revealed was the secret to the Holy Grail. Now, if you were the actor in the movie and, it, and you desperately wanted that information, how many of you would believe that he was passionate about cracking the code on that cryptex to get that little thing to open up to reveal it, right? The challenge is it was booby-trapped, and that was the whole plot of the movie. If he failed to crack the code, what he would crack open instead was a tiny little vial of vinegar that the scroll was wrapped around, it would break the vial of vinegar open, and that vinegar would destroy the papyrus on the inside, leaving him with what? Nothing. How many of you have ever been in a sales process where you literally felt yourself crack that vial of vinegar and destroy the sale? Have, right? When it turned in from a, I hope they do, to, ah, oh, crap, they're not. <laughs> right? Just got to know. And it happens to salespeople all over the world. That's why you've been conditioned to chase the no instead of the yes. They expect you to crack the vial of vinegar on nearly every attempt. But no one's ever revealed the secret of how do you stop cracking those vials of vinegar. Here's what I can promise you. Every single one of your customers has a little invisible cryptex. You can't see it. It's tucked away maybe in their pocket or their purse. But they have one. And I want you to imagine if what was locked inside this device, if you could successfully open it up, was a little tiny rolled up piece of paper just like that. And I want you to imagine if what was written on here was exactly what to say to that customer to get a yes instead of a no. How many of you would desperately want to crack open this little guy? Okay? And stop cracking those vials of vinegar instead. Why I'm so excited to be here today, and if you've seen me do this presentation once before with Strongbrook, it's different than you've ever seen before. At least the punchline is. Because what we've done is we've written the scripts of exactly what to say to every customer based on their personality type that gets them to want to join Strongbrook, to sign up for the subscription, to be a part of your team. How many of you would love to have the code that cracks and gets a yes for every single person to join your Strongbrook team? Okay, so that is the power and the reason I flew up here today is not to repeat myself, it's to tell you that this is a massive project that we've been working on behind the scenes 
so that you don't have to guess and fumble and stumble your way to trying to figure out the yes. We've literally created the map, the treasure map of how to get the yes instead of a no every single time. Is that exciting? Okay. So for those of you that haven't seen this, I'm going to do a little bit more explanation and then we'll talk about for those of you that want to come to the training and you want to be the first pilot group. We didn't want to save this for the announcement a few months from now. We wanted to do a pilot group so that we could take that first collective group in Strongbrook. And for those of you that are watching via live stream, you guys are the first ones in the entire world in the Strongbrook Nation to be able to have access to these scripts. And we're going to begin tracking you, we're going to begin monitoring you, and we're going to begin measuring your results. How many of you are up to start seeing that over the next 30, 60, 90 days? Okay. So for those of you that want to be a part of our pilot group, we're going to invite you at the end. Here's the concept of it. Based on the theory of the four personality types, if you see that first little pie chart there, whichever one is your dominant personality type, it represents one of the four personality type categories. Chances are that you're talking to your customer from that point of view. Would you agree with that? Oh, yeah. It's kind of like if it was a foreign language. If you speak English, you're naturally going to speak English. But what I started to realize is that based on whatever my dominant personality type is, I'm not the other three. And chances are that meant that maybe I was saying the right thing to one out of four people, but I was saying the wrong thing to three out of four. Now I'm getting three out of four times more no's than yeses. And that can add up to be very expensive. What I discovered was I was leaving 75% of the business on the table. And if you fail to close the sale, what you just did was you spoon fed your own competition. For every no you get, you're moving that business to someone else's pocketbook instead of yours. Now, as much as you love others and want to help other people, how many of you would like to take home your fair share for you and your family? Right? And I wanted to help my team. How many of you want to help your team be able to take home their fair share? Okay? Because it's not just about you. This is a teamwork network. So that concept was really important. When, when Tony Robbins said, let your prospect determine your presentation, and there's four different types of people, how many presentations should you have? Four. four, yet how many do most people have? One. One. Beginning this evening, you will now get access to four Strongbrook presentations. Four, right? Four chances to increase your own sales ratio up to 300%. Let me show you how. If you're only able to speak one language or to one category, you're leaving the other three categories as unaccessible. So if you're able to now speak to four different classes of people, regardless of who you are, you have a skill set that allows you to penetrate and connect with 300% wider audience. And that becomes a skill set that you can use for your lifetime. For those of you that choose to study our program bank and go deeper and deeper into the coursework that we'll be offering through the store, I'm going to teach you how to become a master at cracking codes. I'm going to teach you how to become a master at being able to say and speak anything according to someone's code as if you just became fluent in four different languages, the language of people. How many of you would love that skill set? Okay, and you can use that in anything in your life. So what I'd like to do is teach you a little bit about the four types just to create enough distinction to show you that from this point forward, if you choose to never study this program, you never download the course, you never come to a class, you don't ever get to see what's locked inside the secret little cryptex of Strongbrook. What I want you to understand in your mind is that this is a science that's thousands of years old. You can't beat it. It only beats you if you don't know the code. And I want you to understand that using one presentation would be as foolish as me traveling to foreign countries and forcing someone who doesn't speak English to listen to me in English. Do you think I'm going to get very far? Yes. Not even close. Matter of fact, when I was a little kid, and I'll share this story with you, and I am a return missionary, I went to Romania. But my language study started when I was five years old. My family moved off to France. My dad was uh, taught at the French Air Force Academy. And my parents decided, let's throw our kids into international school instead of any American English-speaking schools. So as a little five-year-old, I put my little backpack on and went to school for my very first day. I didn't speak a lick of French. I come home from school, and my mom pulls me aside, her little five-year-old daughter, and basically says, Sherry, what did you learn today? And I looked up at my mom, and I said, blah, 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 bonjour. <laughs> blah, 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 bonjour. 
that's the only word that made sense. The only code I was able to crack that day was one word, bonjour, because I was able to learn it enough to connect the dots that the word bonjour meant hello. And all of a sudden, I spoke one word of French on my very first day. And then it expanded into becoming completely fluent. Matter of fact, my parents said I spoke French more than English for three years of my life from five to eight years old. And that's where I began my passion for studying languages. I speak a lot of different languages, but my favorite language of all is the language of people. And what I've been able to discover with Bank is that it doesn't matter what country I'm in or what culture or what actual language someone's speaking, that the entire human race is divided into these four different groups. They represent your children, your spouse, your parents, your grandparents, your siblings, your neighbors, your friends, your coworkers, your downline, your upline. Every single person you interact with has a code. As you watch Gerald tell the story about the demise of his marriage and the destruction of his heart, something broke inside their ability to speak each other's code in that relationship. And what I'm going to teach you through this is that if you simply learn how to speak someone's code, it can unlock one of the greatest joys of life, which is just simply a yes instead of a no. And imagine how powerful that yes is. Besides business, sure, you can make millions getting yeses. But what about the yeses in the private walls of your own home, with your spouse, with your children, and with your key relationships? Imagine getting rid of the resistance that comes up because you basically said fighting words to a different code, but you didn't mean it. It's what your code needed to hear, not theirs. What if you have a teenage kid that you just can't understand for the life of you, and someone really, some of you wonder where that kid actually came from and how they teleported into your womb, right? <laughs> this isn't mine. The milkman definitely came by that day, right? Okay. So, of course, we all have kids. How many of you have kids and you've realized that they're totally different one from another? Okay. They're born with different codes, and this is what becomes fascinating. I've had parents come to me and say, you've completely altered the way I parent my children since Learning Bank. I've had husbands and wives come to me and say, I've been married for 20 years, and your bank system taught me more about my spouse than 20 years of marriage. We've had instances where there's been attempted suicide inside of families that has since been prevented because of simply teaching the family bank and how to communicate with their own family dynamic. So this is why bank is so much more powerful than just simply a money tool or a business tool. But the reason I created it originally was simply to stop being so broke. And that's where it started, and then I found out that there was a much greater um, benefit that came out of it, and that's understanding people. Okay, so I want to share with you, let's start with B. B stands for blueprint. What is it? Blueprint. blueprint. For those of you that come to class next Saturday, 9 to 1, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about a blueprint. What makes them tick, what makes them buy, what makes them fly out the door, right? That blueprint personality type, I'm going to be expanding 12 words to you, and I'm going to be giving you all of the meat and potatoes that come with understanding the values behind a blueprint that makes or breaks the buying decision. This is currently what is being studied by San Francisco State University, proving that, in fact, the buying process is altered according to personality type. I'm going to share with you the, what these words mean, like stability, structure, systems, planning, processes, predictability, responsibility, duty, rules, credentials, titles, and tradition. Twelve words that can make or break your business deal when you're dealing with a blueprint, and then we're going to put the Strongbrook script to it, and we're going to say, how does Strongbrook appeal to a blueprint who has these core set of values? How many of you think that would be valuable to figure out how to communicate that, right? So we're going to translate it into, take it from the this is cool to so what, now what? Rubber has to meet the road. Give me a practical tool that helps me make more money, that closes more deals, so that we can help change more lives around the world with Strongbrook's message. Now, some of the fun things that we'll teach you is I'm going to teach you how to become a master at profiling people and cracking their codes. I've had people that have come up to me and say, Sherry, are you an FBI profiler? <laughs> and I'm like, no, it sounds cool, though. Why? Because I'm going to teach you how to take people watching to a whole nother level. I'm going to start teaching you how to pay attention to everything you need to know about a person to crack their code. But one fun little thing, because I always like to have fun. You guys want to have some fun? Yeah. Okay, 
So when you, uh, when you greet a blueprint, a blueprint's very inside the box. They're conservative, they have their rules and protocols, and if anything takes them outside the box, what happens to the vial of vinegar? You break it, right? So they like to greet each other with a traditional greeting according to their culture, and that's a handshake. So turn to your neighbor, give them a handshake, and say, nice to meet you. Okay, not very exciting, kind of vanilla inside the box, and that's again the blueprint protocol. Now, would you agree that this personality type has very specific rules and guidelines of what they're looking for in the buying process? Do you think when they walk onto a car lot that they walk out with a car that day? No. Not even close. There's a very specific criteria that they have to go through step by step to get to the yes instead of a no. What I'm going to teach you is what are those steps? What's the formula? Okay. Now, just to switch it up, let's move to the A. The A is the action personality type. It's red hot. It's VIP treatment. These are your movers and shakers and millionaire makers. They're nothing close to inside the box. What do you think they are? Totally outside the box, right? So a very different criteria type person. And then we started to study the values. And we connected these values to buying behavior. Again, this is what I'm going to teach you. So you look at words like freedom, flexibility, spontaneity, action, opportunity, excitement, attention, stimulation, competition, winning having fun, and they care all about their image. I want to give you one example now that you just heard about blueprint and you just heard about action, just how opposite these people are and how one word can turn someone off and kill the deal, can light someone up and seal the deal. Okay? Let's use the word opportunity. Do you think that gets used a lot inside network marketing? So if you say to a blueprint, hey, I've got an amazing opportunity, I want you to come down and watch this presentation or meet so-and-so. Don't ask questions, just show up. It's ground floor. <laughs> Do you think a blueprint wants to show up? No. no way. I even had one person say they were waiting for the cops to come into the meeting at any moment because of the use of that word opportunity. It felt like a what? Scam, which is exactly what the blueprint's looking for. You say opportunity to an action. Hey, I've got an amazing opportunity. This is a ground floor opportunity. This thing's going nothing but sky high, 156 countries. By the end of the year, will the action personality type bite on that? Heck yeah, they're like, what time do I have to be there? Woo-hoo, right? <laughs> of course, that script can make or break the deal. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to teach you in strong brook language, okay? So when it comes to greeting, do you think that they're the conservative handshake type? No way. What do you think an A does? Right? High five. So turn to your neighbor, give him a high five, and say, take it to the bank. Take it to the bank. Take it to the bank, right? All right. Let's move on for sake of time. The N stands for nurturing. I use the color yellow. This is warm, gentle when it comes to the box. They're the ones that recycle the box. They care about saving the planet, right? <laughs> this is a very different type of person, and they don't respond. You give them a blueprint script, it's going to be too cold. You give them an action script, it's going to be too hot. It's like the story of the three little bears, right? You give them a nurturing script, and it's going to be just right. So what's that nurturing script? These are totally different people. They value things like relationships, authenticity, personal growth. Sound familiar? Look around. Who do you think the dominant code of this room is? <laughs> Let's see. Mentoring network, personal growth, nurturing community. But let's go get some of the other codes or else the company will get out of balance with only one type. Does that make sense? Do you think other types deserve to be in here? Oh, yeah. yeah, where are they? Boom, boom. They're out. They didn't come today because it sounded too nurturing. Do you notice how just the marketing of a relationship topic excluded a lot of people from coming? Did you notice that? Okay. Just that one little positioning. But everybody should have been here. Would you agree with that? So maybe there's things that we can do that alter, that start to fill up. And what if it's filling up with your people, with your team, right? That's what we're going to teach you. Significance, teamwork, involvement, community, charity, ethics, harmony, morality, contribution. These are all things that warm the heart, that make that pe person feel a sense of purpose. They require a very different sales approach, not blueprint, not action, but a very nurturing style way. Now, when it comes to the greeting, we have the handshake that feels cold. We have the high five that's a little aggressive in your face. How do you think the nurturing likes to greet? The hug. The hug, everybody. So get up, stand up, and hug at least one person and tell them that you love that they came today. Here you go, right here. Okay, I got you. I love that you came. Oh, thank you.
love that you came today. I love that you came today. <laughs> it's always about being at the right place, right time, and you are the ones that are here today, and I want to thank you for that. So that hugging, that connection is the key to what makes or breaks the deal. And there's things that you say and the way that you say them that can create that deal to make or break. And again, what we're going to teach you, okay? Now, the last piece of the code that rounds out bank, the acronym, is K. K stands for what? Knowledge, Knowledge right? So these are your very smart, analytical people. When it comes to the box, they're the ones that recycled the box. It was their brilliant mind who even invented the box. They're very smart people. Are they easy to sell to? No. Not even close. So we're going to teach you how do you crack the code on this person that moves them to a yes instead of a no, right? And let's look at what makes them tick. They value things like learning, intelligence, logic, self-mastery, technology, research and development, science, universal truths, expertise, competence, accuracy in the big picture. If you don't meet their needs on that level, they will not buy, they will not join. So what do you say to a K who's the most skeptical of them all? How do you get them to a yes instead of a no? The length of the sales cycle for a K, to, to move them from no to a yes, do you think it's short or long? Long. long. It usually starts with the number four and ends with ever. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Takes forever for them to make a buying decision, right? They're difficult to talk to, but not because they shouldn't deserve to be a part of this network. Do you agree that they should be a part of this too? Yeah. Absolutely. So what do you say and how do you do it? Again, this is what we're going to teach you. And when it comes to the greeting of the K, we've had the handshake, we've had the high five, we've had the hug. How do you think uh, K likes to be greeted? Do you think that they want to touch it all? No. Do you think they're super oozy emotional or not so much? No. Not so much. Most of the time they're up here and not right here. So here's what I came up with, right? <laughs> how, do I touch, how do I greet them without touching them? Live, live long and prosper. That's right. Everybody give me your Vulcan salute. Be proud. Some of you are twice as smart. You can do it on both hands. I'm only half as smart. I can't do it on my left hand. <laughs> okay. In all seriousness, the K truthfully, if you interviewed them behind private glass, and they told the truth, they would tell you that they would prefer to be greeted without touching. So what most of them will do, someone said a bow once, a nod, or simply handing a business card is their preferred way of greeting. Hand them a card, not a shake, okay? Because they prefer not to be touched. It was funny, last night I went to the Bees baseball game and I sat next to a K, and how do I knew that? He was at the ballpark with his wife. Every single time he had a moment where there wasn't action, he got onto his cell phone, it wasn't an iPhone, and he started playing chess. <laughs> Who plays chess at the ballpark on a hot date with his wife? A total K, right? So we even took a picture, posted it on Facebook without his face. I'm like, here's the K at the game, right? But what was funny is my knee accidentally touched his once during the game. What, what do you think he did with his leg? <laughs> cooties, cooties, right? K's don't want to touch people, okay? So that's part of what you're going to learn in the sales process. There's really big make or break uh, triggers that are going to alter the process. How many of you learned something so far? Oh, yeah. How many of you think this would go a lot deeper down the rabbit hole, okay? So we can teach you a lot more about these four personality types, but I want to start to summarize it by asking what's your bank code? How many of you felt like you could identify with the inside the box conservative blueprint approach? Okay, look, this is fun. Look around. Blueprints aren't that attracted here yet. All right, how many of you felt like you could identify with the action, the mover and the shaker and the millionaire maker? This is ground floor. I'm pumped up. Okay, awesome. A few of you. Great job. High five. How many of you felt like you could connect more with the nurturing and your heart-centered purpose for being here? Watch this. Raise your hand. Okay, a lot more of you. And how many of you felt like you were more the knowledge personality type? You're here for the information. Cool. So you guys, you know, the network, access to the vault is access to information. So what's cool is all four codes are attracted to Strongbrook. Would you agree with that? Should we ever block out any one code from joining? No, we want to make it for all codes. But here's the key. You're not just one of the four. How many of you felt like you could connect to pieces of all four? Because you actually are all four. 
And this is what I ended up realizing is that your customer is a combination of all four codes, not just one code. So it made the sales process now a whole nother level of complex. Because if you can scramble those B, A, N, K into any code combination, it creates 24 different code possibilities. Now imagine you take out your debit card and you go and punch it into the ATM machine. How many digits does it want you to enter for your PIN code? Four. Four. In what order? The exact right order. You can't just randomly go punch it in and money comes out. Your teenager would love it if that did happen. <laughs> your customer, and I want everybody to listen to me real quick. Your customer is the exact same way. They have a bank code that requires a four-digit PIN on the presentation to get a yes instead of a no. If you want money to come out at the end of that presentation in the form of sign me up, I'm in, let's do this, I'm on the team, let's change the world, you got to punch in that four-digit bank code. And you need to deliver the presentation that makes them tick and say yes. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Okay. So when I looked at the science and the math behind this, I thought, my gosh, you have a 1 in 24 chance of delivering that right presentation. That's a 4% chance. So if any of you have ever felt frustrated or defeated or, or even convinced yourself that sales isn't for you, business isn't for you, if you've ever been told that you don't have to sell something, you just have to share it, that's mixed with maybe a little bit of not so true. Sales is your ability to influence people. You're constantly selling. Do you sell it to your own children? Do they sell to you? Oh, yes, right? And because this is network marketing and it's something to be very proud about, I trained for the Direct Sales Association and I spoke at a conference once. And I said, if sharing were really the case, this would be called the Direct Sharing Association. But what is it really called? The Direct Selling Association. See, a sell is a, a transaction, but it's the influence that consummates that transaction. And if you really believe in the strong book product, do you believe that a sell has to transact in order to make a difference for that customer? Yes. Is a transaction even the freemium of downloading the new app that's coming? Yes. Is that a transaction? Yes. I never said money had to exchange, but a commitment and a yes had to be made. An opt-in had to be made. That's a transaction. Does that make sense? That's sales. So your brain may convince you that that's sharing, which is awesome, but it's also selling. Okay, so how many of you want to get to uh, a lot higher percentage of delivering the right presentation every time? What if there's a way that we could teach you how to deliver the right presentation 100% of the time? Raise your hand if you'd want to learn it. That's what I'm going to teach you next Saturday. I will teach you how to deliver the right presentation 100% of the time. Now, bank doesn't guarantee that you'll close 100% of your sales. But we have a lot of our clients that become what they call serial closers, and they start having batches of 5, 10, 15, or 20 in a row that say yes without a no. How many of you want to become a serial closer? Okay, that sounds a lot more exciting. Say yes? Yes. 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 Okay, and that's what we're going to teach you how to get. So what I'm going to teach you more importantly than this is it could take a while to crack one of 24 combinations, but how many of you want the like, give it to me now, fast version, what if you could crack someone's code in less than 90 seconds? Would that be entertaining to you? Okay. Yeah. So in the class, I'm going to be teaching you my secret weapon of how I crack someone's code in less than 90 seconds. When I started developing this program, that was the number one thing I was trying to figure out. Okay, science proved that people are different. I need to find out which people I'm selling to, how am I going to crack their code? I can ask them questions, I can do all types of things, I can see what they're wearing and all that type of stuff. I'll teach you that, the FBI profiler concept, I'll teach you. But I needed a quick fix. How many of you saw that Indiana Jones movie where he had the fancy swordsman getting ready to kill Indy? The whole crowd went silent, freaking out. What did Indy do? Boom. How many of you want that solution in business where you can just pull out your gun out of your pocket and go boom? And that's what we created. What I created was a set of four little magic cards. And those four cards was exactly how to crack someone's code in less than 90 seconds. I'd simply hand them to my prospect and ask him to do me a favor. Sort the four cards and send them back to me. This is going to help me serve you better and save us both some time. Do you think the client does the exercise? 100% of the time in 16 years. Never not once 
has someone said no. Isn't that pretty fascinating? I'll teach you why and how, but what they hand back to me is their exact bank code, and what we'll teach you using the Strongbrook scripts is now that they've just revealed their code, here's exactly what to say to them with Strongbrook words that has them sign up and buy from you. How many of you want to learn that? Okay, so for those of you that come on Saturday, we're going to be giving you your own set of cards, and on top of that, we decided to take it into the 21st century. This card game was super fun, and we have thousands of clients all over the world using the cards. But we started having clients that said, Sherry, what if I'm on the phone with someone? What if they're over the internet and they're, right not, they're not here to sort the, the cards right in front of my face? Now what do I do? I started tell, having people that they were telling me they were holding up their cards on their Skype sessions in front of the camera saying, okay, tell me when you're done. Okay, tell me when you're done. And I'm like, are you serious? What if we could take the card game and turn it into an app? What if we could take the technology and leverage today's brilliant people and create something revolutionary where we could crack someone's code in less than 90 seconds anywhere in the world? How about in the 156 countries that you're getting ready to go in? How many of you would love to do that? Okay, so they could be in Australia or South Africa or Europe and cracking the code and you get access to that. So we created the technology called Bank Pass. Bank Pass is our electronic version of inviting someone to sort the cards online just as if they were live to you. They click submit, and all of a sudden our system's gonna kick out two emails the moment your customer plays the game in 90 seconds or less. We send them an email that tells them all about their bank code, but more importantly, our system's gonna send you an email. The member of Strongbrook, the IBD, the subscriber of this service, less than a dollar a day this service costs. And we're gonna send you an email that says, hey, your customer, wherever they were in the world, just played the game and you just cracked their code. Here's their name, their phone number, their email. Here's their bank code and the top tips of how to communicate, negotiate, and close the sale with that person. How many of you would love to have a secret weapon like that, right? And now imagine taking this secret weapon, a bank pass in 90 seconds, combining it with the pre-written Strongbook scripts. Out pops the code, out pops the sequence of what to say to that person. You know exactly how to sell to them and enroll them onto your team. You guys love that idea? Okay, so Strongbrook is genius for investing into this system. This system is what's going to enable you to skyrocket your sales and experience success with zero resistance because you're actually speaking the customer's native language according to the way they process information to make a buying decision. There's zero form of manipulation and there's 100% respect. When is the last time a salesperson ever sat down with you to sell you something and said, before we get started, I'd actually like to understand your values before I give you my opinion of my own. That's what this system does. It allows you to be 100% authentic and transparent and do the customer a service. So I'd like to wrap this up. How many of you would love to come next Saturday and learn this exact system? Okay, so we've put together a very special class just for you. Let me share with you what you're going to get access to. Les Brown, by the way, completely endorsed this. When he came across our system, he said, Sherry, I travel all over the world. I speak on all these stages, even here. I've never seen something as powerful as bank. He said, bank's a game changer for every entrepreneur and sales professional. This system will strengthen your confidence, expand your selling skills, and dramatically increase your income. And that's what we want to bring to the Strongbrook community. So we have clients across multiple industries all over the world. We have doctors, attorneys, chiropractors, financial advisors, insurance, school teachers, business leaders, companies, and of course, direct sales and network marketers using our system and creating significant results. I met one guy for dinner last night in Salt Lake City. He's been using bank for the last 90 days. He said, and I got it on video because he said it the first time with me just listening, and I said, can I get that on video? He said, Sherry, when I met you, my closing rate was 20%. 90 days into using bank, my closing rate is now 95%. Is that awesome? Huge awesome, okay? So here's what's next, and here's our special offer. We're going to invite you to become a bank pro. Now, our, our package is, is three different components, and I want to share with you what we want to include to assist you. The first is our online study program. We're going to give you access, like the vault, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to information, the audio files, the workbooks, everything you need to know about these four types, how they tick, how they buy, what makes or breaks the sale. We're going to give you access to over 360 tripwires 
the key things you need to know about each code that break the deal and how to avoid them. We're also going to give you access to a mastermind library with 52 hours of me basically interviewing in one hour segments different personality types where they're revealing on the microphone in the studio exactly what makes or breaks the deal for them in the buying decision. We also got husbands and wives and business partners who married their opposite and they reveal when one says yes and one says no, who usually wins? The wife, right? <laughs> so you better hope she was the yes, right? We're going to teach you how to get both of them to the yes, okay? We're also going to invite you to attend our live course. And our live course, this is where we're actually going to take you through a four-hour curriculum. Now, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to decode that person and what to say to them to move that prospect forward to a yes. Again, you can use this with your spouse. You can use it with your mouse. No, I'm just kidding. That started to sound like Dr. Seuss. With your customer. We're going to give you a step-by-step -step system to building this. We're going to help you have a methodology to get more yeses than no's proven. We're going to put you on the fast track to making massive and passive income. We're going to teach you how to build better relationships, and I'm going to teach you the science behind this that dates back thousands of years and has been proven time and time again. And most importantly, I'm going to teach you how to crack codes in less than 90 seconds using the cards. We're going to do role play. Everybody's going to get a set of those cards, and we're also going to get you the bank pass electronic system. So I want to finish with a, a, a nice quote from Robert Kiyosaki and what our special offer is. Robert Kiyosaki says, the ability to sell is the number what skill in business? The number one, not number two, not number three, number one. Sales is what you want your team to learn. Sales is your ability to influence, no, nothing to do with manipulation. Manipulation is if you're forcing your agenda, cramming your presentation angle down their throat. When you speak in their language, you are speaking their code, and that's what will move that customer. So to hit V2, are you guys ready to hit V2 in your strong brick business? Say yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. So here's our special offer for you. Each of the three components of the program is sold a la carte. Our home study program sells for 495 bucks online. 495 bucks. It's an online program to get all of the audios and workbooks included. You can come to the course separately, all by itself, for $375. That's a four-hour experience. We're going to give you a workbook. We're going to walk you through the process. We're going to include those little cards. Or our most popular package is called the V2 Pro, which bundles it all together. The home study course for $495, the ticket to the live training for $375, plus our bank pass activation and 30 days of unlimited use of bank pass, which is a $125 fee, all bundled then to $995. The special that we negotiated with Sprongbrook, and for everybody who takes action today and also online, I'm going to give you an instruction on exactly what to do online to get this. Our special offer is for those of you that do it today, whoops, is $495. $495 buys you the entire product bundle. Let me go back one. There you go. So for those of you that want the online home study course, you want to come next Saturday. If you can't make it next Saturday, you can come to a future one. You have a year to redeem the live course. We're also recording it so you can watch it online if you can't wait till the next live course. And the bank pass activation, the $995 package for today is what price? $495. So I'm going to ask the team to go ahead and pass out the paperwork. We have a flyer that reviews what you're going to get into the course, and we have the order forms for those of you that would like to sign up. Now, next weekend we know is a special holiday weekend. It is for you and it is for me. It's also my birthday. But when I talked to Strongbrook, I told them my next available date isn't until October. And they said, Sherry, we want you to please do it next week because we have so many people in the community. When I came back here last time, how many of you wanted to learn bank then? I've had my email box exploding from you guys, hunting me down, saying, Sherry, how can I buy bank? I love bank. Can I buy bank now? I don't want to wait. But because of our agreement with Strongbrook, the answer was no, you can't. We wanted to be able to preserve it until we could roll it out through the Strongbrook network and not only make a special offer, but also create the opportunity for you to put the commission through the compensation plan. Do you guys appreciate that? Okay. So for everybody who buys, this volume goes through your own network, and everybody gets a piece of it. It's $4.95. Now, for those of you that are married, this is only for married people only. You can buy one person for $4.95, and it only includes one of the package, but you can add an additional spouse ticket for $295 by itself. 
So if you want to bring your spouse with you to the class, you can pay an additional $2.95, just a one-time fee. It doesn't give them a bank pass, electronic tool, or the online bank pro. They can log in with you if they're married. But one extra ticket, you'll get the full workbook, the full four hours, and all of the Strongbrook scripts. For everybody who comes to the class next week, we're going to give you the Strongbook scripts. And I'm going to give you two sets of scripts. I'm going to teach you how to sell Strongbrook, the company, the opportunity to join the business to a blueprint, an action, a nurturing, and a knowledge. And there's four different reasons that they would get involved with the network. And I'm also going to give you the scripts on how to sell it to a retail customer. Why would someone want to buy the product, get on the $99 a month, or download the app? How do you recruit a mentor that comes into the network? So we're going to teach you how to sell to the customer base that you're going after four different ways. Does everybody understand that? Yep. Okay. So on the form, what we'll do is we're getting ready to go to dinner break. All you need to do is simply fill out the information in step one. This is your personal information. Step two is your payment information. It's a one-time payment of $4.95. The bank pass is included. Now, bank pass is a monthly fee thereafter of $29.95, basically a buck a day to crack unlimited codes and have those reports keep coming in on exactly how to close every prospect that you're dealing with. You can cancel it at any time, but it's automatically included and it will enroll you in the $29.95 a month after your first 30 days unless you cancel. We'll explain more in the class how it works and why to keep it, okay? Then you're gonna simply sign, the cancellation period comes with a three-day cancellation, full money back guarantee. Simply autograph that three days from now. And then you're, you're purchasing all three of these products bundled together for the fee of $4.95 instead of $9.95. So for those of you that are coming with us, go ahead and fill it out. How many of you plan to come this Saturday? You want to come to the class, get the scripts, and go through the pilot group? Raise your hand. Okay. So we're we have a, a limited class space because we're doing the pilot group. For those of you that can clear your schedule, I'll make you one promise. It'll be the best four hours you've ever spent in personal development. You will have the secret to communicating with every single person, personally or professionally, from this point forward. And I'd love to invite you, and there's one last thing that I'll say, and I'll thank Chris for this opportunity. We are working with Strongbrook to make this a flagship product for every single IBD that joins the network. Would you guys agree that this training should practically be mandatory to teach a brand new business person how to actually speak and sell and represent your own company? Yeah. Raise your hand if you believe that, okay? Well, here's what I'll share with you. Not only are we going to position this as training that every single person joining the network should consume, and that volume pumps through you, but our customers love to go to training courses, and automatically that creates a demand that we're looking for trainers. We have trainers in countries all over the world, but Strongbrook wants its own certified bank trainers inside the network. How many of you would like to get paid an additional fee on every single IBD that comes through the live bank training as part of the network, okay? Outside of the compensation plan, just as a trainer. Would any of you love to make an extra 50 or $100,000 a year training this type of thing? Raise your hand. Okay, so for those of you that come to the class, we're gonna be selecting that first batch of trainers to potentially qualify to getting certified, okay? So if you wanna be in that conversation, come this coming Saturday. I understand you might need to rearrange something. It'll be worth it. If you can't, you can still lock in the event special and we'll see you guys. Um, we'll deliver the online version to you and you can come to one of the future ones. But I want to thank you for letting me come.